another question find the area common to the cardioids r equals a into 1 plus cos theta and r equals a into 1 minus cos theta we have the cardioid r equals a into 1 minus cos theta given by the heart shape m p s o u r m and the heart shape r equals a into 1 plus cos theta is given by the heart shape r t o n p q r since we are asked to find the area common to both the cardioids, we know that the shaded region is the area common to both the cardioids. Since these cardioids are symmetric with respect to x-axis, we have the shaded region above the x-axis has the same area as the shaded region below the x-axis. So it's enough to find 2 times the shaded region above the x-axis. We can split the shaded region above the x-axis as OSP and PNO. We know that OSP is the arc of the cardioid R equal to A into 1 minus cos theta and ONP is the arc of the cardioid given by the equation R equals A into 1 plus cos theta. When you try to draw a ray from the origin, you can see that the ray has to move from origin to theta equals pi by 2 to trace the region OSP and the ray has to move from theta equals pi by 2 to theta equals pi to trace the region of P and O. OSP is the arc of R equals A equal to 1 minus cos theta. And ONP is the arc for R equals A into 1 plus cos theta. So theta varies from 0 to pi by 2 for the region OSP and theta varies from pi by 2 to pi for the region P and O. Area of a polar curve is given by double integral r dr d theta and r varies from 0 to a into 1 minus cos theta with the range of variation of theta being 0 to pi by 2 and the other integral applicable to the cardioid r equal to a into 1 plus cos theta is theta variation from pi by 2 to pi. After integration we can have a square taken common outside. We expand the terms 1 minus cos theta the whole square and 1 plus cos theta the whole square using the equations a minus b the whole square and a plus b the whole square and we get resultant terms. We can see that 1 plus cos square theta is common to both the integrals so we combine the limits from 0 to pi by 2 and pi by 2 to pi as a single limit 0 to pi which is applicable to the term 1 plus cos square theta. However, minus 2 cos theta should be integrated from 0 to pi by 2 and 2 times cos theta should be integrated from pi by 2 to pi. We use the equation cos square theta equals 1 plus cos 2 theta divided by 2 and cos theta is directly integrated. After application of the upper and lower limit, we obtain the final answer as 3 pi by 2 minus 4 into a square.